Hello friends, right now I am with an exclusive person, exclusive because this person is instrumental in designing the textile policy, this person is the link between the industry and the ministry. I am right now with the new textile commissioner, Dr. Kavita Gupta. The first question that the industry would like to know is, with the formation of new government under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Modi as the PM and your appointment as the Textile Commissioner of India, how do you plan to transform the various sections of the textile industry with special reference to cotton textiles? Yeah. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I would like to say that India has always had a very proud position in uh, textiles and cotton throughout the world in all these years and we require to re retain our that position and also make it more strong and uh, more vibrant and for that we require to definitely take a lot of uh, steps because uh, we can never lay ourselves back and be complacent about our position and our strengths we require to continuously develop and innovate and move forward. Uh, in cotton, uh, world over, a lot of experiments are being made and these experiments have been uh, 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 through R&D, research and development efforts, like uh, uh, different countries are doing intensive cultivation on cotton. And uh, that intensive uh, uh, cultivation by way of that vertical cultivation of cotton, they have been able to increase their yield and productivity and we will have to compete with those kind of standards. So we will also have to improve our productivity levels and our yield levels and adopt good practices and the best practices to see that we are able to achieve these uh, global standards in terms of quality, in terms of productivity in terms of cost, pricing and quality, everything. So uh, towards this end, we have to move jointly and uh, I would like to take this forum to say that everybody has to work together in one step, in one team. In the next five years, what will be your top priority regarding initiatives for the policy of textiles? Uh, well, uh, the policy for textile is made by the Ministry of Textile and uh, we are only uh, going to give our suggestions and recommendations. Uh, there is a textile policy which is under formulation and uh, uh, what we would, I would like to concentrate is that within the, the present textile policy of 2000, that is a prevalent policy right now. In that framework, we are implementing our various schemes. In those schemes, we have various initiatives which uh, we would be implementing. Uh, every scheme implementation has uh, two aspects to it. One is there is a scheme where you have the uh, financial targets and we have to spend the amount and the other is the physical. I would be concentrating on seeing the actual outcomes because it's not necessary that uh, we spend the money we have to spend it correctly and in a manner that the real outcome is achieved very aptly put that we understand from the new textile commissioner that she is result oriented her focus is on achieving the desired results both in terms of tangible measures as well as the social objectives uh, she is targeting right from the farmers to the technical textile industry which is the finishing part and promoting textile in terms of technical textile is I think the need of the hour. We must all uh, focus towards it and she wishes to promote the various teams of the textile commissioner's office to more and more people especially the people who wish to export. There are various schemes of the government. 
The next question is what the policy measures are being planned to genuinely help the farmers to improve the yield per acre. You mentioned that. Right. And improve the quality quotient of the crop so that the right. farmer earns and is self dependent. It does right. not rely on the government. Right. Do. Right. Uh, uh, as I told earlier, you have this, uh, we have uh, uh, our productivity levels really required to be uh, made uh, uh, better because uh, uh, we are now competing in a global environment. We are no longer saying only about India. Now in a global environment, whoever is cheaper and better will sell their products. Like we have the whole world as a market, but the whole world also has us as a market. Hmm? So if we are not competitive, hmm, then their products will influx in. Hmm? And if we are competitive, our products can go out and sell. So we really work, up, I mean, it's very, very important that we increase our productivity levels. And for that, we require to continuously work on newer and newer technologies. How are you planning to address the uh, current uh, problems pertaining to various other segments of the textile industry for enhancement of domestic as well as export trade? Right now they are all telling that they are facing a phase of recession. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things are not working yeah. out well yeah. for those who have even expanded. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, see, we have, uh, uh, we require to take uh, various kind of efforts to promote uh, exports and also uh, do this kind of a, uh, retain our competitiveness. Uh, the most important thing is, um, I feel the most important thing is R&D, research and development, which we require to really activate. Hmm? Because that is where we can uh, stand up to the quality and the standards and be more efficient. Hmm? So uh, we uh, are competing in the global world in three criteria. Hmm? One is the pricing, the second is the quality, and the third is our delivery schedules. Right. Hmm? So if these three criteria are met with in a, uh, in a competitive manner, then India will retain and increase its uh, exports. And do you foresee any change in the Chinese policy to buy cotton and yarn? Because India depends a lot on yeah, yeah, China. Yeah. So right now, uh, the present policy, of course, restricts the imports. But uh, uh, in the days to come, the policy, I think, is uh, likely to be announced in November. Right. Let's wait and see what uh, the ch Chinese policy is uh, likely to be. Um, I can't comment much on it because it's another country and their policy. <laughs> what are the three major challenges for India in the field of technical textile? Like the focus for yeah. the textile commissioner's office, yeah. I think, yeah. is yeah. technical textile. Yeah. Yeah. So I think some of these I have already pointed earlier. Uh, one of the major challenges for technical textile is the lack of awareness. Okay. Hmm? Uh, people are not aware of these products and they are not aware about the necessity of using these products, both the things. The second challenge we are facing is that we do not have enough of R&D in it and be required to have more R&D in uh, uh, technical textiles. And for that reason, the government of India is giving a lot of grants and a lot of benefit that you come up with R&D uh, unit or R&D project and we will support you totally. This year has been uh, difficult for spinners and ginners. Yeah. So because basically like we started with the Chinese uh, policy of import. What new policy must be introduced to make them sustainable? Because it looks very uh, likely that China will not come into full fledged import for the next three years, or it may never come yeah. for import of such volumes which it did in the last two, three years. Yeah. And how do we make this industry more sustainable, which is so much dependent on China? Like for cotton, I can say that 60% of our Cotton used to be exported to China. Yeah. And for yarn, it was not less than 54%. Yeah, yeah. So, so much of dependence on China, and now no China. Yeah. Now and maybe never in the future. Yeah. What can we do? I 
being yeah. collectively uh, and as a textile yeah. commissioner yeah. to make these two industries more sustainable? Uh, first and foremost, I think ginners and uh, uh, spinners, we require to work more on the upgradation of technology because most of the upgradation of technology through tufts has happened in the spinning sector. Uh, so we require to also see how they can uh, uh, upgrade the technology, that is number one. Uh, number two, I think we have to see new markets. Mm? And we also, uh, traditionally our markets have been US and EU and uh, all these markets. So we require to see, uh, maybe China to some extent, uh, we require to uh, go into newer markets, diversify our markets. Huh? And that is also the Ministry of Commerce uh, thrust that we should look for uh, markets, including the African markets, okay. including the CIS markets, including the Latin American markets, hmm? because there's a tremendous potential over there. Hmm? Uh, secondly, I think, and very importantly, we should not miss out on uh, getting the FTS hmm? because FTS are going to be very, very important in promoting our industry and uh, in seeing that uh, the industries stay in India. Hmm? So uh, this is something which uh, we really as a country and as a government require to focus on this. The textile industry is a, a capital intensive industry. Yes. It is currently facing a critical problems of bad debts and defaults. Yes. Like in the currently, I was in South India. In the local newspapers, also there are so many advertisement of auctions of spinning. Yes. So yes. Those who are there since so yes. many decades also. Yes. What measures will be taken to enforce law and order in the textile industry so that such defaults and bad debts are not a common occurrence because that we will lose the investors' confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is predominantly a banking concern because the defaults and uh, bad debts happen when due diligence probably some way it is missing. Yeah, yeah. So, so that is a banking concern. I wouldn't like to go deeper into it because it's not related to the textile commissioner's office. Madam, uh, now we have discussed a lot of aspects starting from the farmers to the yeah. industry and the finished. Uh, yeah part like the textile, uh, the technical textile. Yeah. And uh, textile commissioner, as we understand, has a lot of uh, schemes which can directly or indirectly benefit yeah. the industry yeah. in the short term as well as the long term. Yeah. How do you think like our uh, association like you know, Cotton Group, we reach out to the farmers and the industry can help you achieve your goals? Uh, we would uh, very much welcome Cotton Guru to participate in our awareness programs and uh, use their whatever forums and medias they have to transmit the knowledge of whatever the textile commissioner's office has uh, various schemes on the textile sector. Uh, we have a number of schemes and uh, those schemes, uh, if you can spread the message and take them through to all corners of the country, that will be very, very good. Uh, not only all corners of the country at different levels okay, we have to penetrate. penetrate. Yeah. Huh? So that is one thing I would very much welcome you to do. Madam, what message would you like to spread through the medium of Cotton Guru uh, to thousands of cotton textile companies and professionals like yeah. in your tenure, what they can look up to? Right. Uh, uh, the message which I would like to uh, 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 reach to everybody is that uh, we are there uh, to support them in every possible way and uh, uh, the government is a facilitator they should look at us as uh, their friends and uh, mentors or supporters hmm? uh, I would also like to say that this is a time when uh, people uh, need to really gear up and they have to come out of their complacency and see what best they can do to increase their productivity, to reach the international global standards, both in terms of quality, in terms of delivery schedules, in terms of all the various standards, and 
how they can at the same time through efficiency, good practices and productivity uh, retain the uh, costing and pricing at the minimum. So these are the things uh, from the export sector. From the domestic sector, I require to uh, tell everybody that they also require to penetrate deeper into the markets here. There's a lot of potential still untapped in the domestic market within the domestic industry which they require to tap on and of course our concern for exports will be value added hmm? yeah. so whatever cotton consumption should be done here right. done value added hmm? uh, 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 utilize the domestic capabilities skills industrial development and export hmm? yeah. so that is what i would like to say that uh, we are at a juncture where we can uh, reach any heights huh? but if we are complacent and if we do not act as a team huh, then we may lose on our positions right. hmm? absolutely well said the new digital commissioner dr kavita gupta has actually worded the message the message is clear there is a space which is available China is vacating that space as a leader slowly but steadily. US and Europe are having their own problems. It is India as an agriculture based and a manufacturing based country which has the highest potential to occupy that space. Yeah. We must all come together not as an individual segment of the industry like farming, ginning, spinning, uh, processing or garmenting but as an industry on the whole, cultivate a culture of R&D and innovation, strive for quality, take maximum and optimum benefits of the schemes of the government which are available, approach the textile commissioner's office more and more to know about those schemes and ultimately target the customer, that is the world. So more we use value added products and all the country benefits rather than exporting raw materials and being happy which can anytime be a temporary phase it is always beneficial to export value added goods simultaneously focusing on the on the tremendous potential available in the domestic markets yeah. and we are the second largest populated country in the world the world is coming here and exploiting that issue so it would be high time we realize our strength and we focus on that. Thank you, Dr. Gupta. Thank you. It was very nice talking Thank to you. Thank you very much. And uh, I think the industry really looks up to you in Thank your you. tenure. Thank you. To give a new uh, time and a new tag tagline to the growth of the industry in your tenure. Thank you very, Thank very you. much.